Hello, my name is Ron Winter, and uh, we fish Lake Champlain. We troll for landlocked salmon, and Lake Champlain is between Vermont and New York. It shares a boundary. We fish about 10 months out of the year, and uh, in fact, we're still fishing. Here it is, January 9th, 2017, and uh, we utilize Canon Digitrol downriggers for our delivery system and outside of that light bite slide divers and this year was past year we, were, we added a third delivery system to get us down in that uh, in that target water we we're looking for that's the uh, inline bores by offshore uh, this is the OR12 and how we achieve that uh, we actually will use seven ten color lead core setups segmented lead core setups an old school uh, tradition and uh, this will get us down 40, 50, 55 feet and this board will tow those 7 and 10 collar with ease. Now what makes this board unique? The paddle tail optional flag system for detecting light bites or small fish and also this is the only board that you can manually release or official release so you're not playing tug of war with a board when you're fighting a fish or reeling it in to change a lure. So to go in a little bit of detail, this is the uh, OR19. This is an orange clip. It's a heavy duty release clip. That's what goes to the line for the pinch pads to your rod. This is an OR16 clip. And uh, it's, it's a, called a Pro Snap Weight Clip. And this kit is the OR20 kit. And this has various size weights that you can clip onto your line. So the idea is, you, it has a little tab in those pinch pads. You don't want it to, uh, you want it to stay locked on the line. So when this releases, and this goes back to your to your bait, it'll hang down like this. So you're not like the competitors. You're not pulling that, fighting that back and forth with a fish that tug of war I described. So uh, now, one of the things they've made a big improvement. And announced about a month or two ago was that uh, when you were towing crankbaits or uh, six, seven, ten color of lead, you had a little bit of an attitude like that in the water, and uh, and and so and sometimes the flag also would bend down a little bit like this. So what they've done was they beefed up the flag. They put more four more adjustments in here for that spring, and the control arm they dropped down to here. So now it goes through the water level and uh, if you're pulling something a little heavy on the other side this will stay up just by adjusting more tension on that spring so they made a, a, a great product even better so that's the OR12 and uh, one thing we've been fishing for a while now is the in the spring when we're fishing March April and May and it's about middle of May are these uh, OR34s this is the mini board What's nice about this is uh, it's reversible on either side. You can tow it. You can take this clip out. It uses this, the uh, it uses the OR10, the yellow release. So it's a medium type of release, and uh, the OR16 uh, Pro Snap weight clip that they use on the weights. Same same principle. Uh, what sets this apart, I feel, is uh, it's taller. It's longer than the competition. So when it, when the waves get to about a foot or more. This one rides a lot better. It doesn't come skipping out of the waves as easily as the uh, competition. So I just like the way it runs because of that little bit wider, taller design. The other board, we fish Lake Ontario for kings, and when you're towing copper beyond you know 300 feet, uh, three to 600 feet, this one, this is the uh, OR37 mag. ProMag planer board. It came out about two years ago. It's an inline board. Uh, it, this this thing does a great job pulling copper, you know, or anything heavy with all that gear we use for Kings on Lake Ontario. So that's the uh, inline board family. And uh, now I'd like to tell you about a couple baits that we're really excited about. Uh, oops. This is a uh, but this is made by it's called a maglip by the Yakima Bait Company, and uh, it's a deep diver. It can be trolled at any speed. They make this is the smallest version, the two and a half, and this is the one here is a three and a half. So this is a good bait for king salmon. And this bait is great size for our landlock salmon. Their smallest version. They make four or five different sizes of these, and uh, 
what I what I really like about them is they got rattles in them, and they'll add another eight to ten feet, uh, depending which one you're pulling on your lead core. So they'll give you more depth. And uh, I've already heard some great things uh, about salmon, big salmon being caught on this one, king salmon, and some friends of mine that are catching big landlocks on that one off their off their lead. So this is a a great, uh, we're, we're really excited about 2017 to pull these baits, you know, to uh, to help us catch these bigger fish. The last thing I wanted to tell you about is every year, about this time of year, Offshore comes out with this newspaper. It's crammed full of ar great articles that helps us become better fishermen. And uh, look on the back side too, it's a, in, there's a crappy uh, delivery system now with a inline smaller inline boards that uh, the crappy fishermen are really having good success with. So what I you can get you can get this online. You go to offshoretackle.com and uh, you, you can find the PDF file and download it and, and read it. So there's a lot of good information plus the whole catalogs in here. And some of the retail outlets that carry offshore products will will have this on their uh, in their in their showroom. So I just wanted to show you that on the very first page of this, there's a great A to Z by Mike Romanek of Fishing 411, uh, how to use these, these boards if you wanted to review in detail, and some great explanations how that all works. So, in summary, uh, adding this third delivery system to this quiet water where we're catching these big salmon, and, and remember, uh, your larger salmon that we're targeting from 40 to 60 feet are usually under the smaller cookie cutter salmon and uh, this is uh, with this system here is this inline board system this helps us get out in that water east and west of the boat that is this quiet water we call we call it so good luck good fishing this is Ron Winter thank you very much